Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm painting more mechs from the board game Scythe. These are the mechs from the Crimean faction. I've already primed these with a gray spray primer. Unfortunately, I forgot to clean up the mold lines, and there's a really bad one on the front of this mini, so I'm just gonna go over it with a hobby knife. I don't think I'll need to spray it again, since this part probably won't be handled too much, and is pretty well protected from hitting things if I drop it. Next I'll be applying the first base coat using a mixture of ochre and orange. In the game's lore, the Crimeans are supposed to be somewhat of a pacifistic faction who are mostly focused on agriculture, so their weapons and technology is a little behind the other factions. The mechs are supposed to be essentially repurposed agricultural tools like giant tractors, so I've decided to give them a nice bright yellow color scheme. This first coat will give the recesses a bit of a darker hue without needing to use a wash, and will help the next layer to pop a little more since yellow usually has trouble with opacity. I've decided to go for a second base coat yellow doesn't tend to cover very well, so this is probably necessary. There's a little bit less orange in this coat, I think, a bit more to the yellow ochre side. For the first highlight, I'm using basically straight yellow ochre, and I'm pretty much covering the entire model again, just leaving some of the first color in the deepest recesses. For the second highlight, I'm using a mix of lemon yellow and the original ochre. I'm just going around the edges of the paneling and hitting all the raised corners to make them pop a little bit. For the third and final highlight, I'm using a mix of about 3 to 1 lemon yellow to yellow ochre. And I'm just hitting all the very corners um, of the panels and edges, just with as thin a line as I can get pretty much. For the legs and wheels, I'm just using a dark mix of black and white. For all the gray parts, I'm highlighting them with some gunmetal to make them look like worn metal.
With all the highlights done, I'm going to start weathering the solid yellow paint job by applying gunmetal in random spots to make it look like the paint is chipping. I'm mostly focusing on the rivets and the edges of the panels and the corners of the body. I'm not too worried about getting this right, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing too much. Afterwards, I just take a look to see if there's any areas that look too clean, and then I'm applying some paint there as well. The last step in weathering is to apply rust. I've ripped a painting sponge into small pieces, and I'm dipping it into a mixture of brown and black. I'm using tweezers to apply this in random areas, again kind of following the edges mostly. The random application from the sponge will hopefully make this look more natural, especially since I used a brush for the chipped paint. If you use two different techniques, it makes it a little less uniform. I'm applying a layer of brown wash. This is Devlin Mud, but they don't make this anymore. Um, the replacement would be Agrax Earth Shade, or any other shades that you can get from a different paint company. Finally, for the base, I'm just using a mixture of white glue and water and spreading it on the base and the wheels. Then I'm dipping that into a tub of sand to give a sort of field-worn, muddy tractor look to it. After that dries, I'm base coating that with some brown. and then dry brushing with a mixture of brown and ochre to finish it up. And that'll do it for these guys. Thanks for watching.